All right, so let's set up the connection string, and we do that in our on model creating method that we will override from the options. So let's create protected and then override. And we are overriding a method that doesn't return anything and it's called on configuring. So this is the method where we will set up the connection string. So here we want to pass in a DB context options builder. And this class provides a simple API surface for configuring the DB context options. So we have the DB context options and DB context options builder will configure it for us. So I'll call the variable options builder. And this is our method for the on configuring. And here we can set up the connection string. So we'll go to our options builder dot and you can see we have a bunch of methods here and the first one i want is to tell it what server i want to use and the one i want is use sql server and now we will pass the connection string to it so it expects or as you can see right here a string for the connection string and that comes from our configuration variable so underscore configuration dot and there's a method get connection string and it's a shorthand for get section of the connection string which we will set up in the json file of our project so we will get the connection string that we will simply name comedy event so in our json file now we have to go and create the actual connection string that we will pass in here into get connection string method and that will be passed to our SQL server. You can name the string anything you want, just remember what you name it because it has to be the exact name in the JSON file as well. So let's go to Solution Explorer and open appsettings.json. And here we have the login, which we can leave as is. Next, we have the allow host. Again, we don't really care for that. But next, we're going to set up the connection string. So type connection string, but let's type connection strings because you can have multiple strings because you can use multiple databases on multiple servers. So the practice is to name it with the plural connection strings. And here we will set up the string itself. So the one we want is comedy event. That's how we name the connection string in our context over here. And now we need to set up a few parameters for it. So the first one is going to be data source. So where is the data coming from? And that's our database. And we will be working with local DB. So we will type local DB. And then we want to go to our MS SQL local DB server. So it's going to be Microsoft SQL local db server and we can add few parameters first of all we need to tell it what database it's going to be using so that's going to be our initial catalog and this is the name of the database that you want so how you name it is important because that's how the database will be named when the first migration runs from the entity framework and I'll just name it API comedy, for example. So that's the name of my database. You can name it anything you want. Now let's set up security. So it's going to be integrated security. And we can simply set it to true. And now we can set up the timeout for how long we will be trying to connect. So let me move this on a new line so you can see it. And it's going to be simply connect timeout and we can set it for 30 for example so this is our connection string we named the connection string comedy event our database is called api comedy and we have few parameters with the security and timeout as well all right so this is our string except if you notice here i misspelled the word initial 
so that would actually cause an error when we try to create a database. So let me fix the spelling. So now it's initial catalog and the name of the database API comedy. So now we can go back to event context and we have one more method that we need to create in order to create a database and that is to seed the database with some data and we'll do that with the onModelCreating method next.